What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another uh, Dominaria Drizzy Aft on uh, Magic on Lizzie. How much do you want? I've been looking for an SST. Uh, Connor Ryan, can you message me on like Facebook? Uh, no, not 512 terabytes. I was I was in the middle of a story before I before I started the recording. Uh, I'm gonna take this guy because it's very obviously the pick. He's great. Uh, I would definitely pick the this the, the single colored five five fighter over the double colored Rona. Um, I think it's also better than Sapperling Migration. I think it's better than Cloud Rooster Sphinx. So, no, I have two. I have two uh, Samsung nine sixty Pros. One is a five twelve. One is a one terabyte. I've only had them for like five months, um, but I'm trying to sell them both in order to get a, a one uh, two terabyte drive, so I can have all everything on one drive instead of two. Uh, usually, I have my OS on one drive and all my stuff on the other drive. So I just figured I'll just take the I'll just get a two terabyte drive since they're fast and they're reliable, uh, and I'll just put everything on there. And like, so I posted on Facebook that I'm like selling these these drives, and I'm like, yeah, go ahead, make me an offer. And someone, someone, someone's like, wow, okay, so there's an icy and an Ariel in this pack, but all the uncommons and rares are still here, so they had to pick like a foil Karn, I guess. Um, but so I'm like, yeah, go ahead, make me an offer. And someone makes me an offer, and they're like, I'll give you three hundred for both. And I was like. You know the one terabyte goes for closer to 500 by itself, right? And he was like, I did not know that. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I was like, it's okay. No big deal. Kind of funny. Uh, I think Icy's probably better than Ariel just because of the colors. Uh, the the Dino's Gold Border because it's my most recent pick. Now the Icy will be a Gold Border after I pick this. See? See what happened there? Ooh, Danitha? Hmm. Shivan Fire and Thorn Elemental. Okay. Okay. So that's my funny uh, Samsung 9, 960 Pro story. So I had I had a good time telling it. So I hope you guys had a good good time listening. <sighs> my only problem with Thorn Elemental is that um, Danitha I think is a better card, but also like both of these you want to play on seven. I think I actually want the Danitha here. Because I like green white. Would you take five hundred bits for one of them? Oh, um. While I do appreciate the offer, I may have to respectfully decline. Uh, I like Avon Sentry here. I also like Davant Trapper, but I think the bird is probably better. See, there's actually no good green in here other than Crossandrid. I don't think Crossandrid. I would never take Shivan Fire over Danitha. Danitha Danitha's wins games on her own, my friend. Oh, uh, Knight of Grace. All right, so we're, the white signal was pretty sweet. Darker Nova, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt High Brood. I think Trapper might be better than Bard, but I, I don't think it's. I don't think it's terribly uh, far. I don't think there's. I don't think the the margin's that large. That's there. You go. Nailed it. I'm gonna take Dub. Ah, uh, Gideon's Reproach is probably better than Trapper here. All right, so the green is pretty much dead. Eh, I'll take candle. Well then. You didn't take the vanilla two through three wizard? Not yet. We can, we'll get there. Yeah, that was a pretty pretty late reproach. I'm uh, pretty surprised by that. Also, a pretty clear signal. Why not just get an external drive? Well, because I, I, I install my things to an internal drive. I don't understand the question. <laughs> because your computer needs a hard drive to work. Uh, none of these cards are good. Uh, I don't even like this guy. 
Like, at all. Whatever. Oh, uh, I'll actually take Pierce this guy. Oh, this guy's actually just fine. All right. Okay. All of these late green cards were mediocre, but actually fine. Thank you. Helix Salt, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt High Brood. I don't want a Tefri. I want a Karn. I want a Karn! I'll, I'll take a Tefri. I'm not going to... I'm not going to complain. I'll take a Lyra. Whatever. Billy, can I be on your team for the, the Unified Standard RPTQ? That seems pretty sweet. Uh, all right. Well, that's a legendary. Uh, my so my one I have a one terabyte drive. The one terabyte drive I have now is about halfway full, but my five twelve drive is almost fully full, and that's where I keep my OS and my programs. So. Uh, used, used one terabyte nine sixty pros are a little bit more than three hundred. I think I think if you're getting them for three hundred, that you're probably getting a pretty sick deal. Uh, the the problem with Rada is that she's green red, and I have no desire to run a red card. Oh well, you tore on Derek. You clearly, you clearly want to go to the. You clearly want to qualify. I see. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. I'll take this Gideon's reproach here. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Jay Ballard, you're the biggest. Joke planeswalker ever, unfortunately. Good lord. Oh boy. That is just sad. Yeah, it's just Surveyor. Oh, Evra. That's actually pretty good. I think ever I like ever more than most. I think just because lifelink, it's a six, it's a four four, it's a lifelinker. Yeah, that's a late Karazov. There's nothing in this pack for us. Partic Wanderer could just be playable. I don't know. I mean, that's I'm actually tempted to do so. I mean, I might just play Partic Wander in our deck, depending on how it, things end. Oh, uh, I actually, uh, I like Sergeant better than. I want a Broken Bond effect, but considering we're white green, I could probably find one. So I'll just take Sergeant. I think Sergeant's a better card. Thorn Elemental. All right, we did it. I did want a Thorn Elemental, so that seems okay. I mean, this is a this is a uh, this is a league, so it's not like we're going to be playing against the the Karamaz Karamazov, if that's if that is your real name. I'm dude. I haven't opened. I I can't believe like this is literally probably my thirtieth draft, thirty second draft, something ridiculous. And I have not opened one Karn, one Lyra. And I've main I think I maybe opened one Tefri. Maybe. I think it was the first sealed I did uh on the weekend of the pre-release. Alright, now we're talking. But weren't we talking before as well? Also, Blood Tallow Candle can just go in the deck. That's not a That's not a questionable choice. What is the card had that it, what is the cards that impressed me the most? Um, you mean in limited? That is a good question. What is Amber? Mox Amber? I mean, that card's like three bucks, so I could care less if I open any Mox Ambers, but I think... No, I haven't opened any Mox Ambers either. Karn and Jace? Yeah, Karn and Jace are my white whales. You are correct. They are my Moby Dicks.
Mox Amber is 30 tickets online? Mm, Mox Amber is three tickets, three, three and a half tickets online. Are we looking at the same prices? Yeah, Mox Amber is four tickets. I, I, I am not sure what you guys are looking at, <laughs> but that is, it is definitely not 30. I like Shauna, but Four Barriers Blade is pretty busted. So we're going to take that. Gorger's pretty good. That's just Gorger's. Yeah, but why do I care about what I open in real life? This is a, I'm talking about Magic Online drafts. <laughs> what, where, how do we get on the subject of real, real cards? I don't even open real packs. I want to take Gorger here. I like Invoke, but... Oh, old sappy. Don't you want to open that that Mox Amber on Magic Online because it's worth 30 in paper? No, not really. That doesn't do anything for me. Oh, the double Evra deck. I'd rather have the double the Seal Away deck, though. How do you pay ticks for... I, you don't. I don't know. This is what I don't know if they're talking about. I think they're actually, I think they're all drunk. Uh, I'm gonna take no. Oh, I third. Who call the cavalry number two? Still, still beats out broken bond. Plus, we've seen a broken bond and um, and invoke. So I feel like one of those is gonna come back. Famous last words, ladies and gentlemen. I do open real packs. You're right. Look, it's my favorite card. Uh, I'm just going to take Corrosive Ooze. I think the card's fine. Oh, a little bird. A little bird sent me. Did you ever do that Dominaria box opening? Um, No, I just opened the boxes that I had. Max, Max Amber sounds like a great comic because she was about a down-to-earth female superhero. Sorry. Oh, okay. Oath of Teferi. All right. Dauntless Bodyguard. None of these cards are great. Uh, I'll just take Dauntless Bodyguard. You're uncommon at least. Oh, got the Invoke we were looking for. And that'll actually go in the main deck if we don't have anything else. Actually, that's pretty good, too. Do you want to cut anything? We have 12 creatures, but also call the cavalry, call the cavalry. It's like 14 guys. Can you imagine if that sapperling outburst comes back? I also call shenanigans on that. I'm actually content with the number of high-end things we have in here. I think four is plenty. Plus, we have a bunch of ways to go wide. We have uh, solid equipment that gets us through. This deck seems good. 
We got a land that we can do stuff with. We got to make one cut, though. I almost like dub in this deck just because, like, put it on Evero, put it on Danatha. It just gets real good. You're going to go here. You're going to go here. Yeah, that's actually the spirit of Hunter, interestingly enough. Uh, I don't want to cut Surveyor because I think it's great. Like, even if it's just a one-two, it triggers. I don't think it actually triggers anything in our deck, but it's still very, very good. I don't have to. I don't have to defend Surveyor, buddy. Also, this guy's an easy, an easy eight mana guy. So, uh, I can see cutting Candle. I mean, I almost think it's better to cut like Lana or Envoy. Eleven creatures, twelve, thirteen creatures. I think this is actually fine. I might actually want the burden here over something else. Yeah, we can cut candle. We have double reproach, seal away, and icy. I think our deck's pretty good. I mean, it's a small green splash, but our green cards are all very good, especially with double pierce the sky in the sideboard. Plus, this guy needs triple green, this guy needs double green, this guy needs double green, so. <laughs> I will play first. Just seems like a pretty good hand. We're not really splashing green green, we're a double green, we're a green deck. I mean, we have equal parts green. Like, okay, so here's the thing about about mana bases, right? Like, if you're if you're a two color deck, that doesn't mean you need to have and, and you're only like have a light uh, secondary color. Like, if I'm if I'm splashing for three red cards in my mono white deck, it doesn't mean you need to have uh, fourteen planes and three mountains. You could literally evenly split it up nine eight, because at no point on your curve are you ever going to need more than three or four planes in play. Just because you have more white cards in your deck by a significant margin doesn't mean you have to go super lopsided on your mana base because you have to have an excess of planes. Most of the time, you need one or two planes to cast even one or two spells in your hand per turn. So just keep that in mind. Like even this hand where I have three white cards, I still only need one planes at any time. So, you know, just food for thought. Like, people just see, they see the uh, the cards and they're like, oh, well, you know, you're only splashing the green, so you're going to want way more white sources, but you don't need them. Because that doesn't mean your white spells cost more white sources all of a sudden. It just means you have more white cards. So as long as you hit the normal amount of, of, of planes, which would be like two to three, you'll be fine. And you can do that just fine in a nine, eight or nine plane deck. So, that's where we're at. So we can either play this, or we can play Plant Forest and keep Shepherd and Reproach up. Oh, they're just going to take four here? Interesting. Yeah, I like this here, and then next time we can sh Sergeant at Arms. I haven't seen you this marked up since main board. Oh, uh, it wasn't. No, I just wanted to explain that to people, and it's hard to. Whatever, man. I get pat. 
Huh. Interesting. Sure. Got to the haste, huh? What is a main board? This is the question I ask myself every day. Well, I have one card in hand, so that's pretty good. Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Thoughts on sunflower seeds? Well, that is, uh, I don't know how I feel about that question. I have no idea. I don't really give sunflower seeds too much of a thought. All right, as long as your last card isn't a pump spell, I'm going to give it the thumbs up. Can I kill you in this combat step? Yes, I can, and I feel good about my board position. It's a song I wrote about board position. I got a lot of good dudes on the board and an invoke and a land that does a thing. Don't care about that, even though it's pretty decent. I like that even if we crack this, we can still cast uh, Allosaur. Kick him. There he is right there. Nope. Dang it. Dang it. Um. I don't really want to trade this for these two. I'll just play Guardians. Sunflower seeds are just flower eggs. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? Well, that's a thing, isn't it? All right. So what are you going to do? You're going to double block here or you block here, here. You block here. You take four. I don't care about that. I just realized that you've got a pretty good voice for saying Thank you so much. That's very kind of you. Okay, that's enough lands. I get it. I understand. I will attack with you now, because if you want to just double block with two sapperlings, we good to go. Where's my Grammy? I have no idea what that means. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're going to wild onslaught here. Because they always have it. It's always the last card in their hand every time. So. Thank you. Tukil, Grandma, what's going on, buddy? I'm right here. Oh, I see. You're, hey, you've, you've drawn uh, Spore Crown Thalad, Wild Onslaught, Spore Crown Thalad. It's a solid, uh, it's a solid amount of cards to draw there. One, two, three, four, five. Well, it's pretty good, I guess. That's okay. Oh, that was a land, so that's nice. Give me my Allosaur so I can kill their stupid other Thalid. Thank you. <laughs> Universe is a simulation. Oh, boy. Well... That's weird. On point.
Thank you. Jimmy Ferduzzi, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt High Brood. This is where I've had enough of your shenanigans. Oh, and they have then they have song in their deck. Good lord. Got him. <laughs> oh, the old simulation confirmed. A classic. La -da 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 -da. I think we're just good like this. I don't really see any reason to. We didn't see any flyers. We saw a bunch of stupid idiot nerds. Idiot plant nerds. God, that's so aggressive. I kept this hand without even looking, to be honest with you guys. I was just like, yeah, I'll keep it. I don't even care. I do want a planes, but uh, hello YouTube me from the future or the past. How does time travel work? I don't know actually. I say got him all the time, <laughs> as you should, rightfully so, my friend. Okay, so this is just four, four forests. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, look at that. We did it. We're so good at this game. Just play Gorger here. No. Shiv and fire. You'll get caught up in the shiv and fire. You know what? I'll take four more. I have a feeling you got a, a shiv and fire in hand, so. Next turn we can invoke and gift, which is pretty cool. Let's see if you can handle four dudes. Do I want to spend money on a new phone? It depends on how old your phone is. I recently got a Galaxy S9 Plus because I, I only had an S7 and I needed an upgrade. And I am I am comfortable with my with me with me purchase. Um, two, three, four. Still keeps up two for nothing, I guess. Aceru, oh, wow, I watched every stream you did this past weekend. I overall, I loved all of it. Thanks, and keep the great. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Hmm. We have two tricks. We can't do both of them, though. Like, if they want to block here, we can, we can gift of growth that dude. And if they want to block here, we can kill this. But we cannot do both, which is the unfortunate part. I don't like Gorger leave up gift because I'd rather just have this guy and leave up gift, and then we're and then we got a f a two two that trades with the four four or the seven six instead of a four four that trades with the seven six. However, we could just trade three knights. Could be fine. How do you feel on seltzer water? I'm not a big seltzer water fan, to be quite honest with you. It always tastes like poison to me. I feel like I'm drinking something that I shouldn't be drinking.
Yeah, it seems fine. Worm is pretty big. How do I know what poison tastes like? Well, now we're getting into a whole different conversation, aren't we? Look at all my creatures that are going in front of your idiot. If you want to kill three knights, that's fine. If you want to kill a knight and a Baloth Gorger, it's basically one and a half cards for one card. Run amok. So you're going to deal 10, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm basically trading still two cards for one card. That's fine. I traded two and a half cards for two cards. Well, we can't cast any creatures here. But I will gladly trade your guy for this. Get in there. Oh, this is a great trade. They have two cards. We have infinite. If we hit any land, we can cast one of these guys. That's pretty good. You'll get caught up in the crossfire. That's a hasty dude. That's a hasty boy. Lady. Wow. That was rude. I have one card in hand. So. <laughs> Four bears blade. Well, they didn't wield it at the same time. You know, John? The bear's wheel to the blade at different times. I'm digging this dark Frank we got going there for a second. What was the dark Frank? Is he from an alternate timeline? Did I miss him? Oh, it's a blade made of bears? That's much scarier. I don't think the red green deck has an efficient way to get rid of this guy. I don't think Skizik is it. I still think you might have Shiv and Fire. If you have Run Amok, we're dead either way. So, I'll well, try to kill you, I guess. Does he have Gift? The Gift is just your last card? Wild Onslaught. Okay, that seems fine. I like that you put it on that guy, but you didn't kick it. That's pretty good. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're close. Not there yet. All right. Don't top deck, I guess. <sighs> that is not a top deck. So you're just dead to Thorn Elemental, right? The answer is yes. You'll get caught up in the crossfire. All right, our deck seems pretty sweet. Sw switch life, attack with one four life link. Seems good. Everyone played hard. I totally won with one hit point left.
the last point is always the best. That's what they say. Yeah, we'll keep this pretty solid, amazingly good hand. I'll give it a thumbs up. Oh, a tragic poet on a mold of six. Intriguing. Remember, you start with 19 unnecessary life. <laughs> That's fantastic, man. Dang it, where were you last turn, you stupid idiot? God. Look how aggressive he gets. Hmm. You'll get caught up in the crossfire. Yeah, obviously turn five is drop memorial. We're just hoping we draw another four drop. Maybe like a call the cavalry. What? Get out of town, Leroy Brown. Can't stop, won't stop that nonsense. Crossfire is sick, dude. Ball bearings and all. What up, bird? Did I just block here? No, we'll just adamant will next turn. Well, I think the shadows, I think even in that game... Oh, that was... Oh, boy, that was a good draw. I don't think we attack here because then they just do the indestructible thing. Boom. Oh, like jigsaw puzzles? <laughs> oh, it's not the wrong land. I'm trying to keep this up so I can start attacking. I don't think you know how Ice Manipulator works. It's not free, my friend. Everybody goes into the red zone. Gonna attack all day. Gonna wait for you. All right, you're done. Okay. Couldn't beat an Icy Manipulator, I see. Uh, Let's bring in our other invokes. No, just kidding. I'm gonna probably bring in Priestess Guy because they have Sarah's on Sarah's wings. Uh, in which case, this is actually just better than an invoke. Because it just kills the creature. And the enchantment. We'll take out... Eh, I don't want to take out Guardian, though, because I do like... I just like having a 4-4. Four -four. I don't want to take out a creature here. Um, I'll take out the Gift of Growth. This hand seems great. How internet? I think you might be the only one there, buddy. I think you might be flying solo on that uh, accounting and finance theme set desire. All right. Well, fingers crossed for the lands. Let them keep rolling in.
You got it. Land, come on. Thank you. Gas. Icy seems real good and limited. Dr. Grimble, you are not wrong, buddy. Don't you touch my Danitha. Oh, I see. That guy. <laughs> this chat's getting real spicy also if you if, if any of you guys were realistically interested in these hard drives just send me a message on like facebook i wasn't sure i don't know how that conversation ended but i figured if you guys were interested i'd let you know or i'd let you uh you could let me know i don't know what i'm saying right now i'm just gonna keep i'm gonna keep playing this game of magic the gathering I don't want to play anything here. I just want to keep playing things because we're not drawing lands. Oh my god, Billy, why are you the way that you are? Can you suckle on a bottle of... I won't do that just because you said suckle. And I think that's correct. I think that's the correct play on my end. Uh, the shadows. I'm selling two hard drives. You can. I, I post it on Facebook. You can check there. Ah, the M.2. That is correct. It is a. Uh, if we attack here, it's just not good, right? They got to land up. They can sack this dude. It's probably not going to end well for us. Or is it? It's not. I think it's more important to establish a board presence than it is to uh, attack with one guy. Sorry, can you slurp? <laughs> Mind step thrall, thanks for giving the info. Really appreciate the uh, the detailed deets you just handed out. Like, I'm listing them on eBay tonight, but I'd just rather sell them to someone who I know and who would get good use out of them. So they have six lands and three cards in hand. We have five, four lands and five cards in hand. They have an extra dude. We have an extra icy. People on eBay would get terrible use out of them confirmed. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, people on eBay, when they buy stuff, they never use it. They never appreciate that stuff. There is no profitable block with that guy's coming in. <sighs> like, they just sack sack. It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Double blocking doesn't work. Yeesh. Yeesh. <clears throat> Whatever. We'll get in there for one. Now we got we got spicy manipulator. Ooh. We can't just reproach Barrett unless he's attacking or blocking. We can't just, just randomly reproach him. That is not how reproach works. Eviscerate? Really? Dang, that's rude, man. Oh, dang it. You sack this dude? No. Wow. Got some value out of these guys. No sackies. 
That's pretty good. It's my favorite modern deck to play. Uh, it's actually surprisingly blue-black control. They're like, that guy, he just never taps anything down. He could have sacked both, correct. Oh, no attacks, huh? All right. Okay. Kicking that guy, huh? Get a little kick. Thinking about getting LED light strips from a bit earlier. Should I get white lights or spurs in the color change? Uh, I have U's, Philips U. And I think they're sweet. And I think you can get LED strips for them. But you would also have to have like, well, you wouldn't have to. I guess you could use your phone. Yeah, I, th I would I would do that. Because you're only going to buy, you only want to buy them once, right? So just buy the good ones. Birds for days. It's like birds for days, but, you know, different. Why do you hide things from your stream? Your favorite, your favorite modern deck is always is and always has been Minotaur Tri Billy. That was I told you that in confidence, buddy. God, do you think you know a guy? And then he tells you he gives away your Minotaur tribal secret. Um You have to block this guy, right? Three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. How many guys is he willing to sack, you think? Four, five, 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 seven, seven, eight, eight. Sure, we'll do this. I'll go ham on this guy. Okay. <clears throat> Got two cards in hand. Do you see a black white control in the meta of standard duress divest kite suffer but of the deck is I, I actually do actually I think I think I found one the other day that looked really sweet. I, it was more of a mid range, but um it still looked really, really cool. It was this right here. Two Vile Offerings, two Lyras, two Cast Out, two Vraska's Contempt. One Ariel, which is sweet. Three Karns. Uh, History of Benalia, Gideon of the Trials, Danitha, which also was very sweet. And then you have Knight of Malice, Cast Down, Seal Away, and Fatal Push. So your your curve is lower than your typical, like your old-timey your old uh, black-white control deck. But the deck still looks really sweet. So feel free to screenshot this. And uh, I'm going to go back to my game here so that we can see what's happening. Yeah, I thought the deck looked sweet. I'm definitely going to be playing that deck sometime this week because it looks real sweet. Uh, most of the deck lists I find, uh, you can find on, like, Magic, just, like, Magic Online and the 5-0 deck lists from Leagues. Alright, it's a two-turn clock. We just have to hope they don't have anything, I guess. We'll take three, and I guess they have to have two tricks in order to, to win. Oh, God, don't do it. Well, that's sad. Now we're in much worse shape. Why didn't they save this guy last turn? They could have Gideon's Reproach one of my blockers, and then, well, I guess they...
One time, something like uh, Call the Cavalry number two, Sergeant at Arms, or Territorial Allosaur. One time, one time. Or a forest. So we block here, tap here, take one, sure. Okay. All right. It's okay. Magic is just setting us up to be able to draw an extra land so we can still tap something. Block you. Don't have a pump spell. Well, that's sad. I really need a thing that's going to save my life. It was just to land. What's the next card? Going to be a good one? Every time. Never fails. Oh, boy. No, it literally never fails. They always have it. Uh, what just happened? Everything is terrible. Just got first place in my PPT yesterday. And I owe a lot of my skill to your words of wisdom on the stream. Things like not being afraid to take early chunks of damage and playing to your outs. And most importantly, all the great memes. Cheers. Everything is terrible. Thanks so much, man. Really appreciate it. Congrats. Congrats on winning the PPTQ, bro. That is awesome. Turns out everything is not so terrible after all. I would have loved if they drew on Sarah's wings. I would have just bopped that thing right out of the sky. I want to bring the growth back in and just play 41. It's totally fine. Totally fine. Oh, this is a spicy meatball. We can bounce our icy? Yeah, let's do it. Combo. JK, that's not a combo. Yeah, in, in essence, I also won that PPTQ. Congrats me. <laughs> That's not true. I don't want to take that kind of credit. What's up, Kellen? Good seeing you, buddy. All right, so let's play. What's more important, playing Sentry on, th on four? Yeah, I think so. I think that's good. Let's get another Grin. Good job, Frank. You did it. I'm proud. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I knew I could do it. God. Magic's a hard game, but it's real rewarding. You know what I mean? The number one thing I've learned from Frank's streams is how it is possible to consistently draw nothing but land and have your opponent draw all gas in the process. That is another life lesson that I try to impart on you guys. It's round two? I felt like it was round three. I was like, man, our deck is crushing. That's a good dude. Oh, we're just going to play Guardians and bounce our Skittering Surveyor. That's gas. Oh, yeah. Give me that. Give me that land, because next time we can go play both of these. Woof. No scad, what's going on? You train hard, play dozens of games, study the tapes, and then the guy you learn from gets the credit. <laughs> yeah, that's usually how it goes. That sounds correct. Don't kill my guardians. Don't do it, man. Why would you? I just literally said don't do it, and then you just did it. Don't you have a soul, man? Whatever. Allosaurus. Allosaurus is going to knock some heads next turn. I asked you nicely not to do it. But then you did it. Let's 
block you, block you, and block you. Let's see what happens. I have charge. Oh, actually, I just kill everything. That's pretty cool. What is on the stack when this when there's resolve? Is that like a was it a saga? Was that like a rite of bells unlock or something? Oh yeah, I'm gonna fight you so hard, bro. Capture those dinosaurs, those romping, stomping dinosaurs. It's a dinosaur hunt. Good lord, Nosegad. That's not okay, buddy. Hope she's okay. So do we walk into the Gideon's Reproach here? That is the question. I think we can do that. If they want to Reproach, it's fine. Because we can play Knight, Avon, Sentry, which is good. Or nothing. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Goodbye, little chicken. Wow. Wow. That's actually pretty okay for us. Still had all these chickens. Don't kill my chicken. That guy's annoying. But Icy Manipulator is a good card. It's also a pretty good card. That's also a good card. Let's go Icy. Knight. Well, every day is Chicken Sunday. Where do you get all these good cards? I put them in my deck. Trump card. Have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out. Have a good night. Still had all these. A living remnant of the Ice Age. Wow, that's a great... That's a great Dominaria splashback there. Or a great uh, Ice Age... Well, Ice, Bay, Ice Age flashback in Dominaria is what I meant to say there. What are you gonna do? Oh, I got some, got some cavalry men. Not gonna attack with this guy. Then they just double block with these guys, and it's pretty bad. The Allosaurus Rider must have fallen off somewhere in the last decade or so. <laughs> Oh, this is actually a fine trade. That's a 10-4, good buddy. Yeah, banding isn't that bad. It's just kind of it's it's hard to it's explained poorly, I think. Um banding was in one of the master sets. I'm not sure if it was Magic Online only. I think it was. Um 
but it was actually pretty easily implemented. So many birds. I'm just going to tap your bird down. I will assume you don't have... I'm not going to switch power and toughness here. I will assume you don't have a Gideon's Reproach as one of your last two cards. Are you just dead here? Okay, seems good. They could have sacked that guy. Uh, prevented me from gaining life and would have gained two life in the process and would have survived. But, you know, we had Thorn Elemental coming down the pipe and seal away. So I guess we would have been fine. Our deck seems good. Uh, would we trust Arena with new... See, here's the thing. Arena is brand new. And if we're already concerned that that program can't handle a mechanic like banding, that's worrisome for future abilities. Because I think... I think there's other abilities that are just as complex, like on a program level, as banding. But what do I know? The answer, young Franklin, is nothing. I will play first. I was going to say, give me a good hand, but I guess I didn't say it fast enough because this hand is hot trash. Well, this hand is significantly better. I feel like we're getting real close to, to the sub goal again. We keep going up and down. Today I woke up and I had 282 subs. And then by the time I started streaming, I had 278. And I was like, oh my god, I have yet to break this. Like, I feel like I'm, I'm like two steps forward, two steps backwards. So um, I feel like we, we got over a little hump right now. And I, it's, it's good. It's a good feeling. Matthew Ori, I feel like I all too frequently draft the one-two deck. They can give me a they can give me a three zero every so often. Also, yesterday we three uh, we threw out again yesterday. So I, I, we we either draft really good decks that don't lose games, or we we draft the the one two zero three deck. Just start watching videos and stream. Great job. What is your favorite tribe? In, my favorite tribe. That's a good question. Let me think about that. Does anyone know my... Do I have a favorite tribe? Does anyone know that I'm just not thinking of? Choose a person that is in the channel, but not a sub... Oh, no. <laughs> no, Scott, I know what you're going to do, buddy. I know what you're going to do. Interesting. I don't want to walk into any trick here. I guess there's only one they could have, right? Yeah. Oh boy, they're gonna do a thing. Why block with both? Oh, I see, because I kill the one. Yeah, sure, that's good. That's very good. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. Um, I would actually say Billy, uh, Fatsuno is a cool dude. Um, I know Billy in real life. He's a, uh, he's a super friendly guy. Oh, look, the old, uh, turn four skittering surveyor mirror match. It's definitely not Homerids. Um, I might be Sphinxes. I think actually my favorite tribe would probably be Sphinxes if I hit Sphinx. It's definitely not oofs. <laughs> oh, are you gonna, you got another pump or are you just gonna, 
What? It, fervent strike? You got fervent strike? What's happening right now? Oh, really? You just threw that guy in the trash can like he was nothing? Oh, I do love a Sphinx's revelation. You are correct about that. Sphinx's revelation is basically just a Sphinx, right? Oh, I see. You were going to get your guy back. Thank you. Fatsuno, thank you so much for the sub. Gifted to you by Nosegad, which actually deserves a thank you. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Uh, I'll take two. Do I just dub here? We're going to icy. What did they get back? They got back Surveyor. Sure. All right, let's see what happens. There's no lands in their graveyard, which is pretty nice. They get no... Oh, now they got a land. And a Mammoth Spider? That's fine. You can get that guy back. I start my new job tomorrow. I had a pretty crazy day. Felt like doing some Nosegad, thank you so much, buddy. Uh, let us know how your new job is next time we see you. Uh, sure. Tap this guy down. That seemed pretty... Like, we have three, four... We have six power on board, and you're at ten. Yeah, we're actually just casting this guy, putting a million power on the board. And then putting you to four. And then, like, this guy's lethal in the air with a dub anyway, so. And even if you just play... If you just play Mammoth Spider here, it's totally fine. Six, seven, eight. So you can play Spider Surve Surveyor. Um, you block three dudes, three biggest dudes. You still take three and put dub on a small guy. Uh, I don't know if it's exactly one million. It might be give or take. Give or take. It takes two. Yeah, I think they know they're not dead because they can just go block three, two, 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 two. They could take three and go to one, but then you know all of our guys would be pretty. Well, no, they wouldn't. Okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm just going to put it on you because I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. Like you block three, three, and two. You take one, two, three, four. It takes two to make a thing go right. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Seems good. The shadows. Thanks so much, buddy. Appreciate it. And we got them shamrocks rolling. Yep. And exaxes. Beautiful. Anything good? What do we bring in? I don't know. Pierce the sky. I don't think we saw any floaters. I like Blood Tallow Candle because it gets rid of uh, Mammoth Spider. I could see taking out the dub for something. Maybe. They're playing red, so they have fiery intervention. I'll take out dub for candle. We already have two pump spells. We have Adamant Will and Gift of Growth, so I think we're fine. We also have uh, Forebearer's Blade, which is pretty legit. Uh, we'll keep this hand, actually. We get a Scurveyor on, Scurveyor <laughs> on three to uh, hit our fourth land drop, which could be a Gorger. Plus, we get 
Mm, double reproach if you hit any whites. <sighs> wow, perfect draw. What if one stream was just Mike with a GoPro at his job? Uh, let's do that, actually. I'm on board. Scurveyla ho 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 on three. That's a good scurveyor. Yeah. Scurveya. It's a skittering scurveya. You guys know what that's like, don't you? I'll take one. All right. So the lands are flowing like the salmon of Capistrano. I'm going to get another plane, so we got three and three. Pew. God, look at that ramp they're doing. Uh, I have seen all of The Office multiple times, so the answer to that question is yes. <laughs> oh, look at that kick. Um, yeah, we're going to play this guy here because next time we can go sap herd and reproach. They only have two cards in hand. What are the odds one of them is a wild onslaught? 100%. The answer is 100%. Oh, God. He could feel the bile coming up in his throat that day. Whatever. I'll trade you. I don't even care. I said the Salmon of Capistrano. Yeah, that's a Dumb and Dumber reference. When do they ever not have it? Not today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Interesting that you only attacked with the tokens. Sure. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Buddy, I come with my own gift of gab. This saves our, our sap herd and it kills your guy, so it's a two for one. That's just fine. If you want to double block here, that's fine. It's all fine. Everything's fine. All right, so I have a feeling you do not have um, Wild Onslaught or else you would not be throwing all these guys away. <sighs> yeah, didn't, didn't think so, brah. Profitable blocks for days. Unprofitable blocks for days. Profitable attacks for days is what I meant to say. Yeah, I will trade four of these for the Gorger, gladly. Oh, all five of them. Five little beautiful boys. All right. Still had all these. 
Going to game zero, you have died. This deck was pretty unbelievably sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, and if you did, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Also check out my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Franklin I'm going to say it every time. It's in the description. Check it out. I'll see you guys next time.